Hey. Who we got with us this morning? Miss Terry Hall. Can you tell us about yourself, Miss Terry? Yes, what do you need to know? Um, how you grew up, your background, okay. family life. Well, I'm 45. I'm the second of um, six, six kids. I had decent parents, very decent parents. They raised us in church. They taught us how to work, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be me. Okay. Where are you originally from? Where did you grow up? I'm from Centerville. Okay. You know, I went to Cahokia High School. You know, later graduate. on. Graduate? Yes. Yes, I graduated the 12th grade. Brothers and sisters? I have four sisters and two brothers. What's your relationship like with them? How do I put it? You know we ain't gonna never get along, but we do stick together. My brothers and sisters are my best friends. What kind of household was you raised in? Like I say, decent. You know, my, my dad and you no know, and my mama, they had their difference, but at the end of the day they made sure they took care of us. Yeah. Yeah. It it got horrible. Actually it was it was kinda traumatizing. That's why I have PTSD. That's where I first came from. Cause they used to fight all the time, but. How did that make you feel? How did that make me feel? I mean, when they was, you know, going through their differences, that's between y'all. But sometimes it'll, it'll. Spill over. It'll, it'll spill over to us, to the kids. My mama whooped our ass. I ain't gonna say she abused us, but she she did. She did. But at, at the end of the day, it is like abuse because now she all frustrated. Then you know, now she coming at us. But What's for the most part, for the most part, my good outweighs the bad. What's your relationship like with your parents? <laughs> okay. I can't stand them motherfuckers and they can't stand me, but well, no. because we love each other. We love each other. Love, hey. They don't, yes, they don't throw nothing up in my face because first of all, what I don't do is go to them when I'm in need. They taught me how to go out there and work. And my mama always told us, whatever you choose to do, I don't care. Just make the best of it. Or make it, or if you ain't doing your best, Make it your strength. Yeah. Make it your strength. You gotta learn from your mistakes. You have to discipline yourself. We all get out here, we mess up, but at the end of the day, you gotta keep in the back of your mind. Discipline yourself. Always. Where did life take you after high school? Where did life take me after high school? <laughs> but no, I went door to door. I did door to door sales for seven years. How was that? How do I put that? And sometimes it was fun. You know, sometimes, you know, you got your hard days, you got your bad days. But that's why you got to always stay ahead of yourself and put back. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you, you, because we going to fuck up. So it's like, don't invest too much time or too much money into nothing that you cannot afford. Pace yourself. Yes. Govern over yourself. Yes, exactly. Live below your means. Yes, you're going to have to. You're going to have to. That's the only way to... That's a, uh, how do the rich get rich? By not spending the money and investing okay. it. Exactly. What did you do after your uh, seven years with the door-to-door -door sales was up? Struggle. Where was you, uh, but I've always had I've always had a job. Just just in between time, I always have had a job. So I got the four hundred one k and all that other extra. Where was you dancing at? I was at Blondie's. And that was located in Washington Park. How long were you there? Seven years. It's there too. Now, now how was that? And how old were you when you hey, started? Hey, I was making money. What the heck you talking about? It wasn't a stain on my damn body then. I ain't had no eczema. Shit, I had customers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I made money. How old were you when you started? 30. And you did that till you were 37. Mm -hmm. What made you stop? I, I, were you 
forced to stop. I mean, it was time to go back to working, you know, get, yeah, which I already had a job, but I had to do more. I wanted more invested into a, a paycheck job. Like, you know, you can't retire. You can, you can, but come on, how many strippers retire? Get the fuck out of here. Stop that. I'm about to retire me a stripper. Get the fuck out of here. So, I've always made a paycheck. You know, the 401k, all that other stuff, yeah. Then what you do after you stopped stripping and went back to the job for us? What job did you I have? took her I took her one of my boyfriends. He was very sick. Very sick. And then he passed away. I was, you know, around him taking care of him for like five years. And then he passed away and then I just went back to work, basically. But for the five years that we was together, I dedicated myself to him because he was able to take care of me, you know, as I, you know, took care of him, yeah. Do you have any social media where you can be contacted or reached if, if people want to reach out to you and share resources? Right here in East St. Louis, <laughs> I don't do social media. You know, you could probably email me or something, but I don't do social media, hell no. That's just giving me more reason to be a damn fool. I ain't got time for that. I'm a damn fool right here. Yeah, children? <laughs> no babies. 45. Never been married? Yes. How many times? Once. So you got married but didn't have any children? Separated, yeah. Separate, yeah. We separated though. How long were you married? Seven years. That's the Everything is seven. Mm -hmm. Everything revolves around the number that. seven. And you know what? That, that's making, that just made me think. Seven, seven, seven. If you can go back in time and change anything in your life, knowing what you know today, what would you tell a young Miss Terry? Or what would you advise her to do differently? Who? If I had a daughter? Or what do you Yourself. Mean? If you can go back if and talk back. to yourself yeah. as a little girl, knowing yes. what you know today, uh -huh. what would you what would you tell her? What kind of conversation would you have with her? you know today I mean whatever you do make the best of it but don't never don't never do nothing you know illegal or nothing like that I mean you got to know how to humble yourself you have to have the seven laws of life happiness joy self-discipline honesty Understanding. Hold on. Did I say humble? Respect. And humble, right? Okay. Where did you learn that? Where I learned it? <laughs> Reading. My mother, she always have, you know, you know, taught her stuff. It's just, okay, the book of secrets. No? And then that's just like you have seven laws of life. The one that I just gave you, if I did it right, you gotta have seven. You gotta have seven laws of life. Those are the seven laws of life that you have to do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But you also have seven deadly sins: sloth, wrath, pride, no, gluttony, and I can keep greed. gluttony, greed. Just keep that out your life. And no, no, you gotta know. You gotta understand. Understand. That the word I'm looking for. Yeah, you gotta. Okay. You gotta understand. You do. You gotta understand when you're going wrong and when you're going, you know, right. See what I'm saying? You, 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 you gotta know. You, for real. But like I say, make the best of life. Live life. Don't throw it away on bull crap. At 45, what's the plan moving forward? Or? Moving forward. All right, now there we go. Okay, I'm going. I'm going back to work because I am on workman's comp right now, but I'm going back to work so I can retire nice. Yeah, yeah. I've been out here playing. 
<laughs> I have. Hard. Ooh, you turn the plan. Uh, it ain't fun. You know, it's not fun. I ain't having, it ain't fun no more. I'm burnt out. When did it stop being fun? Shit, um. When did you get burnt out? This year. Yeah, this year. Yeah, this year. So, this year you're going back to the workforce, getting back in there? Yeah, sometime this year. Yeah. Probably, they, I, I know when, but it, that, yeah. yeah, this year most definitely. So in closing, Ms. Terry, we mm -hmm. appreciate you taking time out with us. Um, if there's anything you want to say that you haven't said to get anything off your chest in closing to close it out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Which, what, which, what, which saying I want to say? Fool me. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. So that, it, ain't, it ain't no third. See, if I let you fool me the third time, I'm a damn fool. We appreciate you taking time out with us. We wish you all the best. Thank you, Miss Terry. All right, thank you. Oh, I did my best. I got 